Welcome to Factorio, Base in the Book. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 13 of our Let's Play. And uh, before we just dive straight in here, let me uh, just say that I've been talking about this blueprint library here. And uh, you have seen in the previous episode that I actually have one for each episode, but I wasn't able to upload that to Pastebin. So what I've done is uh, I have linked in the description, I've updated the link. So there's a link to a dedicated website with each of these blueprint books as a uh, as a separate blueprint string that you can then copy so that if you are following along, maybe long time after this series has completed, you can go to the blueprints for specifically episode six or 10 or whatever one you want to uh, to get. So you get like exactly the state of the blueprints book at the moment you want. So I hope that is appreciated. It takes a while, but it's uh, totally worth it because hey, this series is called Base of the Book. So I should be delivering a Base of the Book, right? Right, so let's um, let's have a look at where we are. We are making the fu portable fusion reactor. So one of the things that we definitely want to do at this point, we've had some power issues. So let's uh, start addressing the, the power issues. As you can see over here, we are working on our nuclear resources here that I have three, four now, <laughs> now four. And so that means we are, we're getting there, but you know, we're not gonna make a nuclear power plant without having uranium in and uranium processing. So that might be a good thing to do. The first thing though is, uh, or if we look at it, is out here, we have that one. So in order for me to do that one, I'm gonna get branch out here and go up and then take this one. What I also want to do is kind of make a better defense around my outer perimeters. I think that's something I really ought to be doing. So that's gonna be one thing we want to do. And I just realized now that I am not actually updating this part. Let me check something else out. Uh, we are good on solar panels at this point. So the solar panels we're building right now is to fill up the inventory here again. So that's gonna fill up soon anyway. What I want to do is I want to make some big, something that I always do here. Uh, let's see, that's three in between, yes. And let me see, that's gonna be... We can do that one because I want to make from here to here. It's actually not working, so let's get one more up. This will be later turrets, by the way, but only when I place them correctly. There, so the green ones, when it's done with this, it'll start making Laser turrets there and there, because we do need laser turrets. Thank you there. And then laser turrets also require batteries and it also requires steel. So with those three things all taken care of, like this, like this, like this, like this, and then outbound and get it back in here to a laser turret one that will be capped at, we're gonna need a lot. 200 maybe yeah let's do 200 and we are then running out of and uh, maybe you can it doesn't matter where i place it there and one of the other things that i want to do is and i think i want to now at this point get all this up if we look at our build and this one, let's have a look at how far we are. We are not really very far on the whole upgrade. It's 20,000 to upgrade the whole thing. That's not something we're gonna do because if we look at it, we only have 2,000 here. That's not gonna cut it, but this one has been done. So this is now coming in as reds. Well, it's not, but it really should be though. Why is it not actually? Let me see how many, we only have three trains. Yeah, three trains not gonna cut it. But what I could do is I could upgrade, I think this one, this one would be good to upgrade along with that one. That seems good to do up, do that upgrade. Now, then we are also started on this part. I'd really like to get this, but you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that are super annoying to make. <laughs> okay, let's see. First, 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 we are going to get some there. I should be worried a bit about my power. If we look at it like this, you can see, okay, we got a lot of power here. So I can probably put in a few of these and upgrade here. I think it's 
I think it's generally worth it to do this. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd also like to get a few more. I was just wondering if I should continue to design as yellow, and I think I am going to design as yellow and then have it upgrade uh, afterwards. So I will just set up here some requesters. I want, mm, let's say 600. And since, that kind of sucks. Let's make it 800 then. Yeah. And we are going to get, I'm gonna build 200 of these. I know it's a lot, but it does give me Oh, I am not inside a RoboPort network. Oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, there. I actually just do that one. Okay. See, this these things I don't like. I don't like having having this one missing missing like that. Okay. Right. Let's uh, continue on this. I am going to get some these. Uh, do I need more? I do need some things. Okay, and yeah. I also need like 50 of these because sometimes you need it. And then I'm going to get some inserters. I want some of this, 100. And I want some blues. And I want some greens. What else do we need? We need some boxes here. I want 100. And I'll make a new row that will make that one. And here. I also think we want a few of these just, just because. And I also want to make sure that I never have any of these remaining. Good. Then let's look at RoboPorts. Uh, or sort of robot items. I'm going to get 10 of those, no more, no less. I will also get this part in. And I will get... Do I really want 50 of these? By the way, I do have some logistics robots, so this uh, should work. Anything else I want under the robots part? No, not right now. Uh, let's get some here. 100. This is just, it gets so comfortable once you have all of this and then you just no longer need to worry about what kind of inventory things you have there. And I'm gonna get some boxes as well. We are going to need some of these now. And we should also, under trains, we should have another category here with trains. Let's call that uh, 600. Oops. Also needs to be capped out, that one. And so I'm trying to sort of make it into different categories so that I'm I'm okay on this one. Just one train here. Yeah. Four. And anything else? Oh yeah, stations, by the way. Stations are kind of important. What else? Then let's get some modules. And that one. I don't use uh, I don't use efficiency modules at this point. I, I just don't feel they're worth it. Uh, that one should just make ah make 10 of those. What else do we need? I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this part. Uh, repair packs, that's going to go under the military thing. So we can always get some repair packs on the military. Under, uh, on the military things, we should get maybe 400, 600. So that's what I can keep in my storage down there. 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 And what else do we need? We need some grenades as well, just to make sure that we have a few 200 grenades. That's probably fine. I should always have a tank available as well in my inventory, just to make sure that we don't lose those. I should also have some fuel, by the way. Do I have some fuel? Uh, that one's not made. Why not? Did I forget to make that? Yeah, I did. All right. I think we have... Pretty much what we want, uh, except not really. I also want some normal turrets. I'm gonna transition out of using normal turrets. There, I think this is a probably a pretty good way of, oh, lights, of course, lights, lights. Uh, that's gonna be under here, lights. Let's give us, yeah, 50 lights. We don't need that much. And down here, since we are getting, yeah. This location can be used to build 
from here, I am going to make that one and let's see. And that will be these three sources. Rotate, rotate. This is just a small little, let's call it a hack. Why not? Here, that'll be fuel and three of those. Good. That'll help a lot on this, I think. Uh, in the meantime, we can do it. Right. <clears throat> this is working. This is working. What I need to do is go out here and build that way. What I'm going to use for that is... Oh, radars, by the way. Radar, radar, radar. Radar also needs to be done here. I'm doing this so that you can kind of get a sense of what are the things that I want to request at any given time. I think that's a pretty good, reasonable things. There might be some things I've I've missed here and there, but in generally, if I look at I'm not going to bring in a car. I could and probably should make sure that I always have some miners, like maybe 150. Seems like a good number for for that. Uh, oh yeah, there's one more thing that's always kind of forgotten. Wires. I use wires sometimes, but when I want it, I am so annoyed not having it. So let's make sure that we have these things available. This is super optional to get these because it kind of takes up inventory space most of the time. There we go. And doesn't really do anything aside from this. We could also request some landfill if we need it, just so that we have that option. Anyway, not going to do that. Let's head south, though. Let's head south and start working on this one. That's kind of... Well, the thing is, I can do... I can do this... like that. And I then want to get my defenses all the way out here, because then I'm going to protect my area a lot better. One of the biggest... things that hold us back for this is the acute lack of laser turrets and we just have currently absolutely zero because we are still burning through all of this all of this has been using all of it and that's up to 500 well actually what we should be seeing now is that it gets stuck it is exactly reaching 500 should we see that come on stop it stop doing that huh yeah, and you can also see, well, greens are not doing great. And that's because copper is not doing great. Why is copper not doing great? Because this one is getting inbound. And But we do have like extra potential copper, at least, coming in here. And I think that would be a good time to get that up and running. Oh, look at this. All of this is now red. And I would actually think that this would be like most valuable place to upgrade right now up to there what was that again was that 1.3 okay i think that's good that would be easy to upgrade now let me get a train and head out to build and let me see i am just gonna get a random train you can also see that the ammo here is it's kind of it's kind of still flowing and the reason why it's still flowing is let's see how fast it's there this is when it stockpiles, so it still needs to fill up a lot of uh, of space. I'm going to just run through this, and do I have one? Yes, I do. And do I have some fuel? I'm going to settle for this fuel. All right, time to head out to this location. Oh, one of the things that I actually wanted to do is here. I I had been it had bothered me that I'm not using any that I'm not having a dedicated a or sorry a proper. T intersection because I can't go from one side to the other. So we're going to fix this one and make it into a T intersection. There's nothing sort of extravagant about that. Uh, this what uh, what are we what are we not getting here? Uh, hello train. That train here, and that one gets in here, and then that one is here. I want these to be sort of parallel here. That one. So if I look at this and I hover, you can see all of this is one intersection. That's actually fine. Let me just check if this area here is okay with that. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't because of the intersections here. 
That's that's cool. I'll copy this. Because I'd rather have this one because then I can then I can go here and I will get that one, that one. Come on. Oh I know what I forgot. I forgot to upgrade my Oh okay, I don't have a better RoboPort yet, so oops, they are here, and then I can put that in there. My few robots will actually do some work now. And let me just get the next one as well. And it should be safe to stand here because, well, there's no one coming. Since I've blocked off the train by parking my own train there. And that is good. Let's get... Let's get them back in here and head out. So the actual train, I'm going to do a bit of the design but we are not going to build all of it and let's see where is the next i want it to go here so one of the things about this location is that i think i want it to be i want this to go that way why well i just let's look at it like oh come on that sound is killing me ah Get that out of the way. Oh, this doesn't look good. Looks absolutely horrible. That was not like the minimum turn distance. That one. Take these two out. And going back. Okay, so we can't take that out yet. Why would I want to do that? Well, because if I continue this path onwards... Ah, oh man. Shouldn't I just do this, by the way? Yeah, I should. It's a T-intersection. Every time there's a T-intersection, just do it this way. Should be fine. Boom. So the point of this one is that I can... Now take from his this location one, two, three, four, five. So if I put put one here, that will work. And I need to get one of those out of, out of the way. Whoa! There are biters on my my tracks. And this one, one, two, three, four, five. So there's gonna be a train here. There's gonna be a train here. So I can actually have one, two, three, four, five trains at any given moment. These ones, it's Shouldn't this be changing? Okay, now this is going in. And then I can take this part out. Yep. Okay, so that's good. And then the next part I want to do is go over here, go over there, build a little design up here. We are going to use this design Let's go over to that one. Okay, that's kind of not working. Oops. So we want to build this. Now, one of the things that I'm I'm thinking is, is really interesting about this particular design here and I'm going to cut out a lot of this this part. I'm going to cut out and that one. I think it's easier to look at it from this side. So that's the one, right? Yeah, that's looking good. And then let's start blowing up the area around it. I realized that I did not get enough ammo. And I also realized that I just blew up the only few paths that I built. Good. So I'm going to take this out. This is also a turn. I think that's fine. Yep. And I'm definitely not taking this part out here. So let's take that out. All right. So what I need to do at this point is I want to get this path over here combined with this path here into a corner 
Where do I have a corner? That's a corner. Can I do that from the map view? Probably can. That one. Okay, so that's, uh, let's just build it, except there's one problem. There's one problem with this, and that problem is the fact that I am not going to have, I'm gonna, or I'm going to need to get some sulfur in here. And I have decided, well, actually I haven't decided, but the community has decided that I'm gonna do this by having a combined train. There's something I'm never ever doing, but uh, hey, there's a first time for everything. And that is, this one will be now have a new, it, oops, new item here. It's going to be uranium. The idea being, at this moment, I am going to bring sulfur on the last train. And that will be, I think that's going to be better. Oh yes, because from here. Okay poor belts and then I need to bring it to this location where I can then build proper feeding of sulfur into this area here that one all we need then oops is to make sure that we then have sulfur coming in and by doing that we get sulfur in, and this one did not actually. I don't care about getting the outer ones. Don't care. I'm gonna. What I do care about is this one though, although it's not powered. Right. So now we have the design, and I am just gonna fill it in so that that's uh, so that we, we are ready and uh, we can start working on it. And so we have uh, now built our uranium location, which is good. And I've just cleared the area just around it so that we don't have any pollution coming in, oh, pollution here and touching this. Of course, it's not hooked up. And what I really, 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 really want is a lot more of these laser turrets, but I don't. Let's see, I have zero laser turrets. That's actually because I'm outside of logistics network at that moment. What we do have though, is a kind of tiny little problem here. And that is the fact that I haven't been able to burn through all of my resources here. We need to get rid of all of this because I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a location. Oh, that does not look good. Uh, I'm gonna have a location that looks pretty much like this coming in pretty much like this. It's gonna be here. I actually thought I would be burning through all of this. Uh, it looks like the copper is just not really, it's, it's gonna take forever. The stone as well, I am just going to say, well, since I have stone coming in, I have iron, copper, whatever, I am going to start a massive deconstruction project here. And just basically take everything out here. I don't care if it's uh, if it's still active, it needs to go because uh, now it has to sort of give way to the real design. And that's the, that's the most interesting part. There, this part as well, don't care about this. And also, you know, all of this part. Yeah, all of this part as well. Here comes the fun part. Also all of this part and all of this. Uh, actually not this this one though. I think I'm keeping this at least for the time being. Here, here, yeah. Welcome to the robot abuse. You know it, it's happening. That needs to go out, this needs to go. No, still not that one. Actually still that one, but. Not just yet. That goes out. And this one. And whatever this one was carrying. I don't even remember anymore. This. Oh, this was stone bricks, right? Yeah, stone bricks. But we have stone bricks here. So we're going to build that. Yes. Um, That might take a while. That might take a while. So what am I going to do while uh, waiting for this thing, to, this hopeless thing to get uh, to complete? Then I am going to use to do something that's super useful. Oops! No! 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 no. There. Uh, that goes out. That goes out. I am going to spend the time on getting my RoboPort up and running. Let's see. We also have new more things here. I know, I know, I know. I know there's one thing I'm missing. Oh, 
we need that one and we need that one. So in the meantime, and we also definitely need faster robots and definitely faster robots. Those are good researchers to get at this point. So what I could do, what I am going to do while this is being deconstructed is, um, is build my power armor. So we can now build a power armor Mark II. It's going to re require some speed modules Mark II and some efficiency modules Mark II. So I am going to, oh, yeah, I just went out of the RoboPort network just for a second. That's all it takes for it to go wrong. Also, I have a lot of broken turrets from my my attacks out there. Let's see, this one, I am, oh, on the way, 32. Nice. So we are getting some of those, and I, I absolutely need it. Right, what are we getting up here? I need to get some of this, and I need to get some of this part. And that needs to go in here. I am going to request some blue circuits, 200. And I am going to request some red circuits, 200. With that being done, let me check. I am in one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Yeah, maybe five and there. And I am going to say, This, build it here, and the next one. So I need 25 of each. That's kind of a lot, so, oh crap. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I guess we do it in the slow way. There. So basically what I want is just build this part. And once this is done, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be ready for the next one. Uh, I'm going to be ready. We have all the other things. This one needs to be deconstructed. Uh, this it's it's fine. We're going to wait a bit and then I'll be back. And things are looking good now. Real good to be perfectly honest. If we look at here I have now this is my ideal setup so take a look at it if you want to copy the way I'm doing it two fusion port portable fusion reactors three of the best batteries one belt immunity and then there's one little slot left five legs can be supported and then four mark II robot ports that gives me 100 robots and this is my perfect night vision glasses and uh, this is uh, this is just a, a mod one of the few mods that I'm using and I'm using this because I want to make sure that <clears throat> that uh, you can see what the hell's going on here. And uh, it, it just helps a lot. So what I'm also going to do is uh, there's been a lot of comments about like, how do you remove uh, things? And there, how do you remove ore patches? That's how you do it. There is a command. I just copied it from the Factorio Wiki. So Factorio Wiki console commands, and then there's something about destroying ore patches, destroy it around here. It I just do this to make it sort of clean. I guess let's uh, take a look at our robots while they jump into action. We should now be able to do this one, but all of this should not be built. So remember what I need to do now is I need to make a new design for where, where our uranium comes in. And it actually only comes in on not the last part built here. That's also important there. Do I not have a, one of these with... No, I don't. Okay. I really should have one that also includes some... Some sacred path. Not like that. But like this. There. Good. So that one will also be made. I can just take this one and make it slightly better. And I'm going to go up here to my Rainquist balancer belt thing it's just going to be put into a single belt i think yeah there's not much to it this one also make sure that blue gets downgraded there now i can also use it this way and uh why is it actually I don't, I just need this yellow. Thank you. It's coming in so damn slow that it would be complete waste for me to do anything else. 
there. So what we're looking at here is just a three to one bouncer. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't actually look good, by the way. It's gonna get in here like so slowly that this is also probably not really necessary. I could also just do it this way, yeah. And then do a side bouncer instead. I think I'd rather have a side bouncer. Yep. So this one bounces the sides and we're getting it so little in that it's kind of irrelevant. This one though, should be, still be, should still be here. Because we don't know if we can live without it yet. There. And st yeah, that this one should have a better name. Ooh, I do not want it to accidentally get in here. So let's hurry up and change it to that one. Good. And this is now going to be the weird question mark thing for us is how do we get sulfuric acid in? Oh, sulfuric acid is not doing great. I can see. I'll take it in there. That one, one, two, one, two, three, four, and how did that one not work? There. And then it goes to this one. I will be pumping because I really need this to be getting as much as possible. And I'm just going to bring it across on, on this one. And here. That one. And a pump. Now this gets really weird because I need to make a train that takes one of, yeah, one here and the other one. So it's going to be a mixed train, which is always a bit weird. So let's, uh, let's try and figure out how to do this. Actually, we can also do... We should also be able to do these now. Although I don't have them in my hub. Which I obviously should have. But uh, that's that one. And I'll just build this one here. Oh no. And down for this one. I will also never use these, this ammo ever again. Then here we have, boom. All right, so this is pumping. Yeah, it's not pumping a lot. Why is it not pumping a lot? And that's because sulfuric acid is being consumed. I think it's just being over consumed here. Let me see. Yeah, we only have like, this is a small build, but it is what it is. And I think it's because this one is, yeah, we're not getting enough petroleum. I think it's because we need to put some modules and beacons into this. Can we support it with power? We might be able to. So let me just run over. Oh, look at how fast we're running. That's so nice. Now it's just so much more comfortable to run here. I am running to this location and this is the time then for us to make... Boom, boom. Then these two... I'll make these two around here. Whoops. Boom. All right, one, two, one, two. I'm building these first because I want the robots to start delivering these to me first, even though it would be so much easier to build the other, the other ones first, uh, this one. There. And... And, oops. That's just a little tiny way to spike it a bit. And how do we, how much do we spike it? We get 10% extra speed plus 8% extra productivity. So about 18% extra yield. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And we can't really get any more out of this. Is it, it is coming in at high enough rate. Yeah, okay. So all of them are working. That's good. That should help a bit on uh, all these things uh, getting, getting built. 
we are of course using sulfuric sulfur as well this one is pumping i just need to make sure that we are it is working uh well all right so let's build how i'm going to do this i'm going to say you want to go to this location and at this location i want to not have a full cargo because it's not going to have a full cargo because full cargo includes the liquid so i wanted to do item count when it has uranium greater than or equal to six thousand it'll never be e greater than but it could be equal to so that's the condition or or the no not the or and then it'll come back in here and in this case it has to be item count uranium must be zero before it leaves and additional condition it must have at least and both conditions must be true this one must be at least i don't know let's say ten thousand so if we do that now boop, you can see it's not really getting the ten thousand that it needs i'm gonna send it out anyway and just see how it works uh what oh Oh, no path. Ha ha. Yeah, that's kind of... I, I, I accept that. I accept it. I accept it. There we go. <clears throat> and do I have enough lasers? No, I didn't have enough lasers, but I have some lasers. Let's try it and then see if it works. How much do we have? We have 6.1 thousand. I think 6.1 thousand should allow us to do 6.1 thousand uranium mining which should be enough to get us uh, to fill it and up entirely so let's go out here with our weird mix train and see if we can get some of this uranium back to our base so first we'll go in here and start pumping and hopefully oh no i'm an idiot there we go and in the meantime, then I need to build a perimeter defense around here. And I think that's going to be... This one is the middle. I don't understand why it connects to these, but it does just does. And I'll have another one there. And then I should have room for one in the middle. Here, maybe. And that one will be here because it has to be rotational three on either side wouldn't this would be better than like this yeah i'll keep this part and then i'll flip it no i'll keep this part and then i'll flip it like that so this part will be tileable yep it'll also be working in corners yep and the reason i'm doing this is because that will allow us to if i just remove this this will allow us to and i know this is just going to be absolutely disgusting these power lines that's still disgusting <clears throat> here or maybe we could actually do that one plus that one with that, that would give us room for this. Good. There, there, there. Oh, this is much nicer. And this is my patented not a wall. I don't build walls out here. And people go like, ah, oh, you really should build walls. But this is my patented not a wall. And it works quite well. Works quite well. There. Patented not a wall. Works work 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 done and then i can also do in here that one and that should be right there so this will also allow us to build some repair packs and i can take i'll take half of those in here because we're not going to build it and that one so then we now we actually have repair packs in here Oh, perfect. Yes. So this is going to be basically how I protect my outer 
outer layers. I'm going to have some robo ports behind and they will exactly cover this area. They will have robo port, the robots and they'll have repair packs and then we'll have tons and tons of lasers. So as you can see, I'm going to need to build a lot of lasers. How is this one coming along? Uh, 2.6. This is super slow. I'm just going to pretend that it's done now. You're like, oh, yay, it's done. Let's head back. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 go back. One of the lines was not working. I don't like the fact that it was not working. So let's just go back here. Somehow. Somehow this is not getting anything. Why not? I guess it's just consuming because I don't see why this one wouldn't get anything. It's, I think it's just slow. All right, let's head back. So there was no, uh, no, doesn't seem to be any error. Let's just make sure that we go back and see how much sulfur we can actually put in here again. I'm happy about this. This is an interesting little design that's very different from what I usually do with a three and plus one. I could also make the trains longer, but then they wouldn't fit in the segments. And I feel that that's more important that the segments are correct. And it is time for us to go back here. How much is in this one? Uh, that is not enough, 6.3. But that is what I wanted to, to get to today. I wanted to make sure that we got uranium back in. Next time we can start on the uranium processing. And just to start building up the first bit of cover or first bit of uranium 235, so we can start the coverage build if we want to, or start some nuclear power if we need that first. So that's going to be where we wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We have uh, just to summarize on what we've done. We've done a bit of a red upgrade, not like massive red upgrades, and we st we are still building up more transport belts slowly. Uh, we have uh, upgraded our power armor so now it's super nice and works absolutely phenomenal phenomenally oh that one here so that is going to be make everything much much easier in the future because we can build so much faster and then we built a nice little location a new type of base defense out here and we got uranium and brought it back in with a weird train design so i'm pretty happy with the progress so far next time we can start working on uranium processing and the bulk update and we also want to make the train system a bit more advanced, but uh, I'm gonna wait for that. With wait with that for a bit. Also, we cleaned up our our area over here, so I think that's pretty good. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be seeing you guys in the next episode, and uh, hope you appreciate the blueprints that will be made available, so you can now get specific blueprints for this episode. Thanks for watching. Take care, and as always, stay effective.